So as part of your whole numbers, you also need to work with the compound interest. As we had uh, our previous classes uh, worked with the simple interest. This time you'll be given questions which are on the compound where you'll be given this statement compounded annually. The interest rate that you'll be given there will be compounded, compounded. You know that you will be dealing with the compound interest. So the compound interest, just like what we had previously, uh, we need to calculate the amount that is accumulated over a certain period of time. All right. So it follows that under the compound interest, uh, that is the most important part here. Uh, our formula, all right? So our formula is the amount is equal to P into, this time you'll be using as one plus R over 100 like this, to the exponent of N, where A, remember, is the accumulated amount, the money that you have at the end, all right? That's the accumulated, uh, accumulated amount. That is the amount that you have after the investment, where P is the money that was being invested. As we had these terms before, this is the money uh, invested. All right. What is it that you invested? Then R is the interest rate. So we talk of R there being the interest rate, in this case, being compounded annually. And any being the number of years. So that's the number of years. If you are given months, you must convert the months to the years. Remember, in a year, we've got 12 months. So you have to convert to the, uh, to the years when you are given months. Uh, so in this case, let's consider our question uh, using this formula. We are given Diego invest. 18,000 invest money invested. We are given according to the data or information, the principal, the money invested, 18,000. For six years, the number of years, we are given that it is six years. At 15% compounded annually, uh, that is the R there we are given, the percentage, 15%. Find the future value, which is the accumulated amount that you have at the end, which is same as the future value. That is your future value there. Okay. Of years investment after six years, still in this number of years. And the interest he receives, the interest as he is going to have this amount at the end. What is the interest? Like a profit at the end. All right. So let's calculate first the amount, the future amount. All right. That is the future value. Before we talk of what, the, what is he going to have as the interest, as a, a, a just like a, a reward of after this, that investment, what is he going to get as the interest, we will see that one later on. All right, so remember, i uh, just going to have one. Amount is equal to, always write the formula first to the exponent of N, where A is the principle, where A is the amount that we need to calculate, then P, we have it, 18,000. So let's just substitute here, 18,000 into 1 plus R as a percentage, that's 15 over 100 to the exponent of n, the number of years. We are dealing with what? Six years. That is the condition of our question. That is the condition of our question. So you can simplify this direct on your calculator. All right, I'm going to show you. On your calculator, you can simplify uh, this direct. All right, so let's see if our calculator that is 18,000. Open the bracket one plus 
15 over 100. Okay, close the bracket. Let's just move aside with this. Then you close the bracket. To the exponent of 6, you press this x to the exponent of, all right? So to the exponent of 6 is equal to. So as you can see, this is what you're having. Uh, to two decimal places, you're dealing with the money, so it's going to be comma 0, 09, or you can fix your calculator to two decimal places, shift, go to the setup, you fix on number 6, so you're going to press 2 to two decimal places, so this is what you're going to have. So that was going to be 41,635,09. That is what we are going to have at the end. So this is the future value, the future value. And also, you are asked to calculate the interest he receives. So it follows just like what we had previously when I introduced the simple interest. Remember, I was talking about uh, the amount being equal to the principal plus the simple interest. Now we are not talking of the simple interest. This is the compound interest. So it follows that amount is equal to principal plus interest. So you need to calculate the interest. What are you going to do? Remember your equations. As you heard them from your grade 8, you can make, you can solve for I take this P to the other side of the equation. So it is going to be a negative A minus P is equal to this i that you are seeing as a positive. So that is the interest received. So therefore, uh, the interest received was going to be what? All right. So if the interest received was going to be the sum, oh, sorry, the difference here. Future amount, which is the future value, accumulated amount, the one that we calculated here, remember, that is our A. So we're going to take that value as it is 41,635,09 minus the principal, the one that he invested. Initially, this is the money invested. So we must remove it from what we got to get the interest received. That is the, the idea of the interest. So we have to subtract. 18,000. So that was going to give us uh, 23,635, 09. All right. Just use your calculator there, guys. Subtract uh, straightforward like that. That's the condition of the compound interest. So questions can be like that. Calculate the accumulated amount or the future value, then later on the interest. On this other question, you are given 6,800 is invested, meaning to say we are given the principal amount. 6,800 was invested for six years, the number of years N, and grows in the value to these. It grows to, that is the future value, the accumulated amount. It grows to 12,500. Find the interest rate if the interest is compounded annually. We are dealing with the compound interest. Find what? The interest rate. Find R. What is the interest rate? Compounded annual compound interest formula from that formula. A is equal to P into 1 plus R over 100. To the exponent of n, we just have to substitute all what we are given. A, accumulated amount, we already have it, 12,500 is equal to P, your principal, 6,800 into 1 plus the rate. Remember, it's the one that you need to calculate. So that is R over 100 to the exponent of n, the number of years, which is 6. So the question is, how are you going to solve? You are back to your equations, dealing with equations, exponential equations. There's an exponent of six there. The R is inside, take note. Okay, let's start with the 6,800. Remember, it's a multiplication, so you can simply 
uh, divide by 6,800 both sides. Divide by 6,800. So this was going to cancel. All right. So that's 1,000, uh, sorry, 12,500 over 6,800 is equal to 1 plus R over 100 to the exponent of 6. How do you get rid? of this exponent six, the opposite. If you are given like x squared is equal to two, remember you're introducing the square root because of this exponent. If it is x to the exponent of three, you introduce the cube root. So to the exponent of six, you introduce the root with six, you insert the six inside of the root. So it's the sixth root. Also, you do it on the left-hand side. Remember it's an equation. Whatever that you do on one side must be done on the other side. So introducing this sixth root is for us to remove the exponent of six. These two, they neutralize. So you remain with what is inside the bracket, which is one plus R over 100. This side, you simplify as usual. All right? You simplify that as usual. As usual, what is the sixth root of this value? Okay, you can even have that or just ignore that and rewrite as it is, the sixth root as it is of what? This value as it is. All right, you take the one to the other side, it is going to be a negative. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it is going to be a negative. So meaning to say we are going to remain with the sixth root of uh, this 12,500 over 6,800 like this. Remember, we took this one to the other side, so it will be a negative one, which is equal to R over 100. It's an equation, guys, you have to solve. You're now solving an equation, R over 100. So how can we solve for this? We can simplify this decimal here, the wall of it on our calculator. Uh, let's see, and here we have to just like uh, use our calculator in the normal mode, all right? Or you can just ignore that. It is up to you. Okay, uh, let's simplify the sixth root. It's going to be shift. You press this x to the exponent, this one, x squared, this one. You press this x to the exponent. Press it like that. Then sixth root, you press a six. Okay, then let's move this arrow. Inside, put a, a fraction, 12,500 over what? 6,800. You move this aside, all right? Let's move aside again. Take note, you move aside, aside. You move it like two times. Then you subtract the one there. So this is it. You're going to obtain... Uh, 0, 0,11 like this because we fixed our calculator. So if we do it like this, we are not going to obtain all the values. So let's bring back our calculator to the normal mode. Shift, go back to the setup. Number eight to the normal mode, you press two. So this is the value that you're supposed to have. Uh, 0, 0,10679. Uh, uh, seven, nine, four, one, uh, three, seven, four, and so on and so on, which is equal to R over 100. So for you to obtain the value of R out, do you remove this 100? You are dividing the opposite. You multiply, remember your equations, the opposite. So you're going to multiply this side by 100 also. So therefore, R, why multiplying? Them? You have to remove that to have this R here. You need R, not R over 100, but what is R? So multiply by 100 on your calculator. The number as it is, multiply it by 100. Okay, so that was going to give us 10,679.5. Uh, 10, and so on. You can round to two decimal places, to one decimal place, it's up to you. There, that's where you go back, shift, go to the setup, you fix on number six. To two decimal places, you press two. So it's 10,68. So that's 10,68%. Or you can 
round off to one decimal place, depending with the instruction that you are given. So that's the interest rate that you're given. So you see, guys, it is not just about inserting values into the formula. Sometimes they can ask you any letter as long as it is on the formula. So let's do revise as many questions as long as you've got a formula. Insert the values, then see what is that I'm supposed to calculate. Solve for that one. Solving of equations is important in our uh, in our grade nine mathematics. So that's it, guys. Uh, till we meet again.